it's not so fun. Amen? And then the third thing he did was he chose the reproach of Christ as far greater than the treasures of Egypt. Hebrews eleven twenty six, he says, esteeming the reproach of Christ, greater riches than the treasures in Egypt, and he looked to the reward. You know, Jesus suffered reproach. How many of you realize that? He suffered mocking, laughing. They spit on him. They made fun of him. They poked, uh, you know, poked fun at him. And the soldiers marched by. They spit on him. And Jesus Christ suffered reproach. And so did Moses. Jo- and they, they both did because they both chose to do the will of God. And I can just see Moses in, his, in my mind. He, he still hadn't made up that decision yet. And he's walking around the palace. And he's looking at everything that's his, you know. I mean, you know, he wants a certain thing to eat. He snaps his fingers and they bring it. He wants wine. He wants dancers. Whatever he wants, it's there for his pleasure. It's there for him to, to, to enjoy. And in his mind, he goes over and he thinks about the Israelites and how they're suffering and how they're being abused, how they're, how they're slaves. And, 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 and he begins to think about the God who's invisible. Come on. He begins to think about this powerful God. And he realizes, man, you know, if I serve God, the reward's going to be greater It's going to be greater than it is here. And so he made up his mind. He said, I'm going to leave all of this material stuff, and I'm going to go and be with God. I remember a few years back, I had a conversation with the man. This is a true story. This man made a lot of money. He made over six-figure salary every every year. And uh, we were having a discussion, and he, he was talking to me. He said, you know, he said, I, he said I'm, I'm struggling, Pastor. I said, well, what's going on? He says, well, I want to join the country club. I said, well, why don't you? He said, because I can't join the country club and pay my tithes at the same time. I said, oh, really? He said, yeah, all my friends at work make fun of me because I'm not a member of the country club. He said, I'd like to go play golf and hang out with people of my social status. That's actually what he said. He said, but I have to pay my tithes. I said, well, I guess you had the same decision that Moses made. Which are you going to esteem as higher, the treasures of this earth or the country club? I identify with Jesus. Amen. And then the last thing is this today. I'm about to close with this today. The third decision that Moses had to make was he had to make the decision to leave the world or Egypt behind him. I love this. Hebrews eleven twenty seven. 27. It says, By faith he forsook Egypt, not fearing the wrath of the king, for he endured as seeing him who is invisible. Moses knew that the day he left, boy, that king was going to be upset. Right? Pharaoh knew. He'd seen, he had probably seen Pharaoh execute people, take him away, put him to death. He'd probably seen all of that as growing up in the courts of Pharaoh. He knew what it could mean to stand in defiance to the king. But Moses said, I'm not afraid of the wrath of the king. I'm leaving Egypt. I'm leaving all the luxury. I'm leaving all the benefits. I'm forsaking it all. I'm leaving all the sinfulness, and I'm not coming back to it. I wonder, is there anybody in this house that says, I have left Egypt behind me. I've left the sinfulness. I've left my past. I've left it all behind, and I'm not going back. I may not be exactly where I should be, but I'm going to tell you something. I'm not back where I used to be, and I've forsaken it, and I'm not going back. Come on. If we were to go around this room today, could I ask you to go find Jereen for me, Dorinda? Thank you so much. Uh, If I were to go around the room today and pass the mic around this room, you'd be shocked if we went around and asked the different ones what they had forsaken to follow Jesus. Just in a room of this size of people, you would discover that there are people that they left off alcoholism or drugs and they left immorality behind. They left pornography. They left lifestyles that didn't please the Lord. They left their own ways of doing things. There are many who have left jobs. They have, some may have even had to leave spouses who, 
who, who, who, who fought them in things and, and things didn't work out. They, they had to forsake all kinds of things and they left. That, that was their Egypt. How many of you are getting what I'm talking about? That was their Egypt and they forsook it all to follow Jesus Christ. I'm just here to tell you that that is a great bargain of life. I'm telling you, it's worth it to follow the Lord Jesus Christ. I don't know about you, but I want to make, I want my faith to make those kind of decisions in life. Amen. Would you stand with me today? Amen.